So first thing we want to do is add our media source into OBS. So we'll come down here into our scenes. Make sure you've got the scene selector that you want to put your media source in. So I've got example scene for YouTube here and then come over to sources. Right click, add, add media source. Then we want to go create new media source. I'm just going to call it example. Okay, and then uh, untick restart playback when source becomes active because otherwise every time you switch to the scene it's going to restart the source playback, the playback of the source. So untick that, but everything else is fine. We're all good for everything else. Okay, uh, sorry, not okay yet. We go browse and then find, obviously find the video you want. So for me, I'm just going to go YouTube example. Okay. And now we've got our media source in... OBS in the OBS scene we want. However, for me, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit big. I don't want it. Um, you might not want it taking up the whole screen. So alt, uh, just hold alt and drag your mouse, drag these sides down, crop them down to the size you want. And then, uh, if you, if you, if you've got a green screen video like me and you want to key out the green screen, uh, all you do is right click the, the, uh, media source filters, and then right click here in effect filters, add chroma key. Okay. And then just play around with the similarity and the smoothness sliders until, until it looks pretty good. I usually bring the smoothness down and the, and the similarity up a bit. That's good enough for this example. And now we have a, uh, a green screened out media source in OBS. But how do we uh, get it playing with StreamerBot through Twitch? I'll show you how. So, we're going to open up StreamerBot. <clears throat> StreamerBot. And uh, it's going to come up with... Uh, you'll have to uh, connect it first. There's, there's, a lot of, there's some tutorials out there on how to connect StreamerBot to, to OBS. It's pretty simple. And uh, so, once we're in StreamerBot here, we want to go to the Actions tab. And then we uh, we come to you come to actions right click again add and then name it name it whatever I'm going to name it example so it's consistent with what it is in OBS it doesn't have to be the same name as it is in OBS but uh, it's less confusing and then um, sorry one sec I have to uh, remove it first because I had it here already let's just remove that so I can add it again so add example. Click OK. Everything else is fine. You don't need to change any any of these settings. So now we've got it here in Actions. Now we want to ha have this highlighted and come to Sub Actions here. Right click again, add Sub Action, and then come down here to OBS. Uh, hang on, let me move it over so you can see. So right click, add Sub Action, OBS, and then Set Media State is what we want. Click on that. Now uh, make sure it's um selected the scene and the source that you want so i'm going to change that to example so it's you know that's what we want we don't want to uh, the other one and then uh on where it says state play change that to state restart so you can press test uh to test it i'm not going to do that because i've got two obs instances running and it, it gets confusing but um that will work if you do all that and hit okay so now we've got our action and our sub action now, how do you link it to Twitch? You want to come over to platforms, Twitch, and then you can choose whether you want the video to play um, through followers, new follower alerts or subscriptions, or you can, you can choose all sorts of things. I like to do channel point rewards so viewers can redeem a reward and then a, and a video will play along with the reward. So um, make a new reward. I'm gonna make a new reward. I'm gonna delete this first. And then add, right click add, call it whatever you want. I'll call it example again. You can change the cost of it uh, here. Change, change a few different options, but nothing is needed to be changed except you just need to click on uh, action here. No action selected. Click on that and then choose, choose the action you just created. So we just created example. So I'm going to select that. Now we have our action linked to this channel point reward and then just hit OK. And we've just created a new channel point reward in Twitch. So we'll minimize streamer bot and uh, I'm going to uh, cut away now and I'll, I'll show you the rest of the process.
So now if we come over to Twitch chat, we will see the reward here in the list just, just appeared. Let's redeem it and see if it works. Attention. All so we can see that it gamers. works. Anna Spelunky. Great in this scene. If you want to add it to other scenes and have it play in multiple scenes when, whenever someone redeems it or if someone follows whatever you've tied the action from Streamerbot to, just come over to the other scene, intermission, whatever you you know, whatever other scene you want it in, and then just uh, click the plus in sources, add uh, media source, and I'll just drag it down here so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, we can, we want to go add existing this time instead of create new. Scroll down and find it in the list. It'll be here in the list somewhere. There it is. Example. Okay. Attention. And All now we have it playing gamers. in this scene as well, and it'll it'll play in whichever scene you have it. Uh, whichever scene you have open, it'll work now when someone redeems the channel point reward or follows or whatever. So thanks for watching. If this was helpful, like the video, subscribe to the channel, would really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.